Hey everybody, Sky Spider here. Uh, so I'm actually up to date on stuff in the bug room, which is kind of rare. Uh, we don't have a lot to do today, but uh, it's, I think, a couple of breeder shelves. Uh, just making sure everyone's doing well. Uh, my more display tarantulas and uh, isopods. So yeah, let's get to work. Starting off with some bad pajama news. There's the booty and the malt. Unfortunately, one of the Versa colors that I paired with my male has molted. So, no babies from this one. It's sad. The world always needs more Versa colors. But yeah, good sized molt. Holy crap. The spider. Feels like it didn't used to be this big back in the early days of the hobby. I don't know, maybe I was just smaller. But yeah, we'll try again with her. I think I can get my female back from the guy who's uh, currently got him. So checking in on Prancer again. She's the one that uh, had the egg sac that just hatched. Which uh, we'll check on them next. Yeah, let's see if she's uh, still hungry, I'm trying to get her back to 100% after all those babies. You hungry, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Trying to hold my tweezers still so I might have a chance of getting them back. There we go. Such a pretty girl. Relax and get your strengths up. We'll breed you again in a year. Prancer's babies are doing really well. I'm pretty sure they're all accounted for. I think some are going to Tom Patterson. I think the rest are going to Fear Not. Uh, I still need to verify the second one. Um, but it sounds pretty positive. Uh, to my amazement, when I went to go look up uh, the current going price for these with uh, a bunch of different vendors just to determine how much mine would be worth in trade. Um, no one has them. I've been in this hobby for about 25 years or so. I have never seen a time where people didn't have any Versicolors. Just mind blowing. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys as a group today. Uh, it takes two hands, so I'll have to put the camera down while I do it. But we are going to throw in a whole bunch of fruit flies and just watch these guys go bonkers. It's really fun. Uh, but I will have to film to the side because if I take the lid off, I'm going to have a bunch of spiders all over the place. So yeah, let's have some fun with this. I don't know if I put in a bunch of half-dead fruit flies or what's going on here. Might have to use my other feeder colony. Yeah, that's not looking very good. I'm going to try my other feeder colony. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, these guys will love this meal. We've got some really healthy gut-loaded fruit flies in there. Maybe not so much that first cup I tried. I think that cup was on its way out. I need to make a, a new one just so I've got my backup cup. Yeah, look at these cute little things. They're so floofy. This makes me even sadder that my other female didn't produce with the fact that I'm uh, having a bit of a shortage of these guys in the hobby right now. So hopefully this egg sac helps out. And I guarantee I'll be trying for more. So yeah, just keep your eyes peeled if you've been looking for a Versicolor. As I said, Tom Patterson and Fear Not are who are getting these. 
and then we'll uh, let you know where the next batch goes. So doing my weekly check on Baron Von Champ here. Give you the idea of just how thick this girl's getting. Cannot wait to see some babies. Let's see if she's going to take a roach out of my tweezers. Are you hungry enough to take? Yes, you are. Good girl. The Baroness loves being tweezer feed, tweezer fed. Forgive me, I'm on a little bit of my medicinal cannabis today. Been a rather painful day for my arm. Man, these guys are so unique. I really can't think of another creature on Earth that's similar to these guys, other than like tailless whip scorpions. But yeah, super cool. Make me some babies, girl. Can't wait to see your babies. We'll take a little look at Emrakul here. I really don't think that male that I paired her with was able to do the job. She's just not looking gravid, despite all the food she's had. Not doing anything that makes me think she's going to produce an egg sac. So I've had an offer for another male. I just haven't seen any that really are worth it. Like they're too old or they want too much for them. So yeah, we'll probably just try again on the next molt. Should be able to get another meal by then. But yeah, just wanted to show her off because god damn she's a beautiful spider. Definitely one of my prettiest. I guess we'll check in on this lovely male here. He still needs some destinations to get off to. Beautiful Chaco here. Man, I've had this guy for maybe eight years. Takes so long to mature. Let's get him another meal today. He's fun to watch eat. Or he just won't do anything and let the feeder get away from him. Oh boy, did I feed you so much you're already done eating? Mature males, man. Let me see if a tweezer feed might help. you want. There we go. Good boy. That's what I'm looking to see. So he's still tweezer feeding at least. But yeah, recently matured. If anybody's looking for one, let me know. So she's been acting super shy since her last molt, but this is Loki, my Brazilian black. Let's see if I can lure her out a little. Want some food, Loki? It's about the best I can get her out. I tried. Man, she's beautiful now. I mean, she's always been beautiful, but this last molt, holy crap, girl. I think she's up to about four and a half inches in lifespan now. She's uh, 12 or 13, I don't remember which. Somewhere in that range. But yeah, I've had her ever since she was a teeny, teeny little baby that was like kind of off white, beigeish kind of color. These guys are definitely worth the time to grow up. But yeah, she got the name Loki because she is a redecorator. Almost every day I come in, her enclosure will be different. And I set this thing up with this beautiful hide in the back, 
some katamas on it. We have this hide over here, which she is completely plugged up underneath with dirt and above with dirt. She stuck a hole down here somewhere. She regularly flips her water dish and carries it places. I uh, hot glued that cork bark to the wall because I knew she was going to try to move it. And it wouldn't shock me if she pulls it off eventually. But yeah, always redecorating my little chaos food. Definitely one of my favorite pet spiders I have. So she got a, a glass enclosure. I think it's a 12 inch cube. I'd like to get her into a tarantula crib one day, though, just because they're easier to lift. It's really hard to film this on the shelf. But yeah, thanks for letting us see you this week, Loki. Loki, Loki, we got a baby. So I haven't checked on the ones I've separated yet. We're in the, the main enclosure here see how everyone's doing. I think it's all males in here now, unless I missed a female. There's one in the hide here. You by yourself, little man? Yep, he's by himself. I didn't get the fish head I left them. Oh, there's another boy. We found another female. Yay. That's a really good sign. I have a feeling there had to be another one in here when I saw the babies. Take a look here. We got another baby up here. Got another baby down here. And these are good sized babies. These are like the size of, uh, of dwarf whites. Like mature dwarf whites. Oh, there's some more babies. So the babies are hanging out on the moist side over here. And the adults are digging the dry side. So that tells me things. Let's get this fish head out of here. It's got a little bit of mold on it. But yeah, I'm not seeing the other males. I don't see any bodies. A baby cricket? What the fuck? No idea how that got in here. Oh, there's another male. Should have known there's always one in that little seed pod. So yeah, hopefully we're, we're still doing okay in here. I'm nervous. I'm always going to be nervous until I've got hundreds. All right, so I'm looking at the two I separated. The female's looking really dark in color. Is that the male next to her? Is the male dead? What the fuck is going on here? You okay, dude? He is not okay. He is very not okay. What the fuck? Okay, we got a dead male. We got a molt back here I want to pull out, just because I keep thinking it's them. And we've got the female down here. Are you doing okay? Well, found out why she was so dark. So uh, this was a fucking failure. Good to know. And the fact that uh, that food is uneaten, that was uneaten, this failed pretty fucking quick, and that's terrifying. So the big one is my only hope, and yeah. What do I do, guys? I'm worried my ventilation isn't enough. I've got four of these one-inch screens open on the top. 
I'd like to put in cross ventilation, but I'm so worried about them being able to escape when they're little. I don't know. Help a girl out. Hello, Morticia. Such a cutie patootie. We're going for the challenge. We're actually going to get her eat on camera this week. All right, let's give this a go. Nope. She's going to eat in private yet again. We tried. At least she's pretty as hell. Now, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to film. We've got one of my Thai cave huntsmen here. Name pending. Let's see how, if it wants to do the roach. Yeah, I'm going to go with yes. It very much wanted that dubia roach. God damn, huntsmen are relentless. They just never know when to relent. I should name this one Nandor. Fuck it, it is so. This is Nandor. He is relentless. Well, time to check on the isopods. You guys know which one is always first. Duckies! Never get tired of duckies. Being pretty chill with the lights today. Check on the koi isopods. Everyone seems to be looking good. Oh, I think we might have a dwarf white in here. Yeah, that happens. If you have dwarf whites, you have dwarf whites in everything. It's just how they work. Time to look at our little panda friends. I see some peeking out. How's everyone else doing? Oh, looks like we're doing good. Hey, look, another dwarf white. I've got those motherfuckers on a completely different shelving unit. They keep finding their way into things. That's just how they do. I'm always a little afraid to look into the uh, clown enclosure because of how many I might find. These guys reproduce so fast. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, guys. Try a little celibacy, maybe? Or you guys want to just stay in the big fuck pile? I think they're going with that second option. And I just realized that is one thing different from uh, all the other bug channels I've seen on YouTube and that I watch myself, is since I don't care about monetization, I can curse. Haha, -ha. fuck pile full of bugs. Sorry, I'm a dork. I wanted to give the dairy cows a minute with some food in here. So we can start watching them swarm. I just opened a brand new bag of uh, freeze-dried minnows, so that's why they got a fancy looking one instead of pieces. So yeah, once they all come out and start swarming, I will time-lapse this.
that's uh, everything I needed to take care of today. Uh, I will see you guys back tomorrow when we have a whole bunch of babies to feed. Uh, take care and be nice to animals. See you guys soon. Mm -hmm.